Welcome back to our YouTube channel. The last time we spoke to you, we had just literally left to come home. And now we're home! And it's a good few weeks later. But life has been busy, so in this vlog we thought we'd catch you up on everything that's been going on in our life for the last six weeks with the new baby, who's hiccuping in my carrier this morning. And it is also Halloween, so we thought we'd do something really Halloween. It's quite a Halloween-esque morning this morning, actually. It's really like dark and dreary and eerie and foggy. So first of all, Stuart's gonna do a workout. What's he doing? I got this delivery yesterday, it's very heavy, so it must be some kind of weight. You're on it. Oh. That is definitely sounds like a way. I am on it because I just feel like. Oh, hello, Rio. Oh, hello. Rio's been watching dinosaurs. Since you spoke to you, I don't think Rio could say the word dinosaur, but now he can say the word dinosaur. Rio, what's your favourite program on the TV? It's a dinosaur. Basically, they want to say dinosaurs. Say hey, dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> what? Orange. Orange. <laughs> Colouring, chilling out, which is particularly rare for Rebel. She likes to be held 24-7. Don't count. 24-7. This is a big improvement in this line there for a minute. Giving Daddy a little, little break. Oh, you're giving him a smile. You are. Oh, I love you. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Brown. Brown. What colour is this? Red. Yes. What colour is this? Red. No? Green. Say green. Green. What colour is this? Black. Blue. Blue. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Hello my absolute darlings and welcome back to another episode of what's going on in Stuart and Francis' live. We've spent the last, I'd say, six weeks at home, indoors. In our pyjamas. In our pyjamas. <laughs> we were thinking about going pumpkin picking today, but Francis is being a total and utter stinge. No, I'm not like, being a stinge. It's, it's 50 pounds to go pumpkin picking. Let's go to Tesco's, put the pumpkins in the garden and do pumpkin picking <laughs> in the garden. I mean, that'd be really funny. <laughs> so but that I don't, could be a possibility. I don't know if it's that every place or just because the place we looked at has another load of activities with it. Because I thought 50 pounds is quite 50 pounds? How many pumpkins can you buy from Tesco for 50 pounds? I know, I'm really interested. I'll, I'll report back later. <laughs> I've gone back. I think pumpkins are only like a pound or two. To get 50 pumpkins in the garden. Oh my god. And just get everyone round this weekend. I would I so what are we doing today? So our friend Natalie's coming over and then I thought we were We from Israel. We we flew her back from Israel. Yeah. That's how much of a good people we are. Oh. No, but she was in Israel and she was like I was just scared and I was like, babe, I want I want you to come home and she was like, I can't afford to come home and we we're like, Well we'll pay for the flights and so we flew her back to the UK yeah. so she could be safe. We did not, I just would feel so bad if I hadn't done that and she, yeah, something terrible happened. But I, we are, we're going to go pumpkin picking today. We're also going to show you our Can I go door. shopping? Because honestly, someone on Instagram said, why do you never dress your daughter in pink? She's always wearing boys clothes. Are you trying to make her? Oh my God, that's the way to unisexual. hit you. Hit you and I was like, oh. I was like, Francis dressed her, but it's okay. What did I dress her in? You were basically, because we've been in the house loads. Yeah, wait a second. We've just been putting her in Rio, some but of that Rio's. Video, that video that she commented on, she was in like a, a zip up thing that any baby wears when they go out. A hundred percent. But what, it wasn't... what if you looked at my stories that day, she was wearing Rio's old um, sleep suit. It's fine, it's fine, but it was just like the biggest wake up call to be like, Stuart, you need to sort out the fashion in this house because it has gone downhill. 
I feel like with all the tiredness that I've experienced over the past couple of days, I haven't been able to do as much shopping. Oh my shopping. God, are you tired? No, I'm not now. I am full of energy. <laughs> I've just had a coffee and I feel fan friggin' fantastic. No, I was using that oh. as an excuse. Oh, let's focus on the positive. I was using it as a terrible excuse as to why I haven't dressed my children in pink. So that's all changing from today. I'm going to go shopping and we buy some clothes. Pink, but I think that's a good idea because it'll make you happy in that. I wish to do that. Hi yippee yippee ay singing ay ay yippee ay ay yippee ay ay yippee yippee ay <laughs> lovely come on be a dance pajamas wearing pink pajamas when she comes not blue ones pink ones not blue ones girl. oh my god I've dressed wrong for the wrong you literally I can't I'm a boy I'm not allowed to wear pink I'm ridiculous <laughs> Here she is! Oh my god! Oh my darling, how are you? I'm good. This is my gorgeous friend Natalie. We all oh, let me shut the door. We did we did a musical together called Whistle Down the Wind. We did. Oh Whistle my god. Down Come. The wind. We haven't seen it for such a long time because she's actually been in Israel. I have been. She's home. Um oh. Oh, look who's here, Francis. Oh, oh my god. gosh, that's been so long. <laughs> we did <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to oh, see hi. you. God, I'd never want to let go of you. Have you have to introduce me. Natalie's <laughs> known us since the beginning of our relationship. Oh my God, Natalie was our very first date. Yes. Wasn't Part of the deal of date? our first date was also meeting Natalie, I'm sure. Yeah. Was like... I think it was your third date and we were in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. it was our third well, date. Yeah, and didn't, I, didn't I come on the date with you? You you were there in the co in the in the shop and you made him do a bend and snap. It was some sort of diner in Liverpool and then Francis was in Legally Blonde at the time. Yeah. And I made him teach me a dance. A dance. I also did that. Like that one. With the I also did that dance with Stuart Hold later on. Wait, on in sorry, the we seem to have got distracted. I need to meet these two. I know. Have you not, I can't believe you not met Rio. Rebel. And the Rebel. Oh, she's Rebel. doing so well. Oh hi. So Natalie's been there throughout our whole relationship. But how, many, how long have you been in Tel Aviv now? I've been living there for six years. She's been living wow. in Tel Aviv for six years. And as soon as the war happened, yeah. I was like, we were scared for you. Yeah. So we're, we're happy you're home. And Stuart and Francis just... were very kind and texted me a lot and made sure I was okay. Yeah. And uh, now I'm back in England, praying for a very swift end to the war. Yeah, so you can Return go back. Return the hostages and peace for everybody in the yes. Middle East. 100%. Everybody. But so we love you. We love you I so get to, much. <laughs> get to hang out with the Unfield Haugens. I just, I just want to document this moment. <laughs> because she's actually lying here quite happily. And this makes me so happy. Great, we have a plan. I'm going to go to the supermarket. We're going to get some cakes and some pumpkins. We're going to carve a pumpkin. We're going to get into the real Halloween spirit. Yay! I've had two coffees and I feel absolutely excited, like elated. And also, I just I just looked at the, looked back at some footage and like, realised how dark my eyebrows are. I know they do make them dark quite. But every it's time you go there, they always do that. But it fades in a few days and it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, I know. But you've got a few days of looking like an absolute fool. <laughs> and today happens to be one of those days. So if you're watching this, don't write in the comments. He's got massive eyebrows. <laughs> not funny. What are those slugs on your face? <laughs> So we've decided Rio's going to come with me to the supermarket because you love it, don't you? He wants his colouring pencils right now. Here are the colouring pencils. However, honey, yeah, you, I, I would love to give them to you, but you tend to draw all over the floor and everything. Look, you've drawn over this. So we're going to save the colouring pencils for a minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is red, yes. It's red, yeah. It's red. Yeah, that's where the baby sits. But we're gonna go to the supermarket and get some cakes and pumpkins. Is that okay? Can... No! Come with me, we'll get your wellies on. Come get come here, honey, we'll get your wellies on.
Okay, we're back from the supermarket. Let me see if you approve of what I bought. So I didn't have any Halloween ones, oh so I bought God. these. I just remembered. She remembered. I'm on a diet. Honey, any of these cakes is gonna be like torture. So we're gonna be making a Halloween cake. Ooh, you excited? Mama. Okay, sprinkles. Do you love sprinkles? Preheat the oven, yes. Ooh, yay! Put this in here. Good boy. More, all the, all the way. More. Yay! Right, can I trust you to crack this egg? Go on then. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Ready, watch. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Three, one. Keep it still. Keep the, keep the spoon still. Ready. <laughs> Hold the spoon like that. That's it, keep it still. Hold it, hold it. That's it, keep it still. Keep it still. Okay, you pour the milk then. Ready? Hold on one second. One, two, three. Done. So they're cooking in the oven. Well done. How long do they take? You got bored. 15 minutes. Well, that's the, that's the average toddler time, so that's that you did well. Yeah, they enjoyed putting on the screen. So. Yeah. What do you want? Colours. Hang on. Colours again. <laughs> what was that? You saying hello? You giving kisses to everyone on YouTube? The baby. Oh, she's waking up. Did you catch my dad saving saves? What are you doing? It's a drawing. It's a drawing? Oh, show me. Go on then. Wow, very nice. So look what we've made. Rio, you've done such a good job. Lovely cake. They look delicious. So letting them cool. Got the icing here. Rebels in a happy place. You've got some pasta with cheese Ooh. and two dinosaurs! Oh. <laughs> so I've just put on my dinner. Francis wants me to put, do you want me to cook you dinner, Francis? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I've just, I've just quickly made this. I've also just booked our flights to oh my God. Hawaii. That makes me so happy, the flights I to look forward to. Yeah. I just paid for them. Perfect, just make sure we get Rebels pasta. Like I know. Oh, you're looking at the camera. Oh, um, hello, oh, camera. Oh my gosh. I put her in the carrier because she just cries, and this is where she doesn't cry, and then I've still got my hands free. Beautifully decorated cakes by Stuart. <laughs> Honey, these are, these are not up to your arm filled standards, really. I thought you'd be. This is the beginning, isn't it? You add to it. Okay. And actually, this evening. I wanted to go and pick up some more breast milk or some breast milk for my lady. Um, Re um, Rebel's actually been on formula for the last few weeks. She did start out on breast milk, but it kind of, um, we ended up, she ended up really struggling and we weren't sure whether it was because we was using different milk from different women who obviously have different diets. So we weren't sure what was working best for her. So we decided to go on to formula because it was more consistent. She improved, but not necessarily amazingly. So. One of the ladies that gave me milk is dairy free. And this is my last shot in the dark because I've been to see a chiropractor, a osteopath, a tongue tie specialist, a homeopath. I've been to see all these different people, but my last hope, because I feel like she did well on this milk from this lady, is that maybe it's dairy and the dairy intolerance and the breast milk, which I believe personally is the best for her, with a dairy free diet, I'm hoping is gonna work. If it doesn't work, then it's something else, but at least I know. So I'm gonna drive like an hour and a half to go pick this up. So I'll take you with me briefly, just because, so you can appreciate my journey. And my dedication to you, honey, I just want you to be happy, desperately. It's so hard when the thing that gives them life, like feeding, isn't necessarily making them happy. Like obviously she needs to eat, and she's putting on weight, but it's like, there's always struggle with wind, and sometimes she screams after feeding, so it's like, I just wanna get it right.
and figure out what it is. So that's what I'll be doing later. Right, my darlings, I'm going to go. I love you. Daddy's going to put you to bed. I'll see you in a bit. So we should have got an extra hour in sleep. But I have to say, I don't know what happened last night, but this girl slept how long? Seven, Seven hours. hours. Seven hours. Unheard of. Oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Rio. Oh. He's all just also started peeing more regularly because I've started to range did you use breast milk a bit more? She screams still when she poos, so I feel like I should be like not tired, but I am. Um, I feel like all her issues she's had have been me with her digestion, so I feel like her gut's maybe a bit raw, and I'm hoping. Who knows? Maybe this milk's gonna ease it a little bit, but we'll see. We will see, honey. Look at that nice sun coming through, honey. Lovely morning sun. Come in the kitchen and help me cook. Okay. Don't stop being so lazy. Lazy is not a great word. <laughs> oh, look at this nice view. Oh. We're a family. Oh, oh. rebel. So, Francis went all the way to Bournemouth to pick up some breast milk. I'm not sure if he documented it properly. A little bit. A little bit. But anyway, I feel like we've turned a corner. No? Yeah, we have, maybe, yeah. I feel like maybe this is the corner. Oh! She smiled! <laughs> she smiled. Yeah! <laughs> she smiled. So we're thinking. She's dairy free. Yeah, which most formulas have dairy in, right? Yeah. So if we use formula, we might have to consider a dairy free formula. But right now, this, this, Oh, look at her, she's smiling. Oh, oh. oh you get jealous, UK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is so nice. Whose birthday is it in like literally two weeks? Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, dear Rio. Happy birthday to you. Hello. Hey. Yay. Rio is such a good big brother. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Although he has been waking up more often, which is normal apparently. You're such a good big Why are brother. aggressions all normal? So annoying. We've always got aggress no, chat, no, You're constantly you. aggressing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the kids, it's always you. So I'm currently trying to pack uh, for Rio and Rebel to go out. So Stuart is going out to a Halloween themed disco at the Ministry of Sound with Carly, who's come down for her Rebel surrogate and her son Finley. So, yeah, so doing, thing, doing things with two is definitely harder. Rio, it's a hat, do you want to try it on? Okay, like, shall I show you Daddy wearing the hat? Look. Oh! Can I show you a hat trick? One mm. singular sensation. Every little step she takes. La 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 la. One boop. Then in combination, every move that she makes. Da, 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 da. Hey! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Are you ready to go? Put the glasses on for the camera. Oh my god! Yes. Say Say cheese. cheese. Oh my god! You look amazing, Rio. Other way around. Other way around. 
I think it's missing something. Daddy, what are you going <laughs> as? I don't really know, but it's just a sparkly black person. And I've got this to match. Oh my god, perfect. Oh my god, you look incredible. A hound's tooth pattern. Baby, you look amazing. It's fine, you have to wear them, honey. I love your outfit. Say hey, Finley. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. It is 11.30 a.m. and I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm gonna stay behind and edit this video for you. But look who's here. Hello. She's holding the baby sheep grew. Indeed. You've not you've not spent time with her like this since No, it's so nice. Um well no, not since Because we saw you born. in uh, Legoland, but then Yeah, but that wasn't really like this, no. was it? So it's been nice to it's been so nice. So I came over yesterday morning, spent the day, didn't we? Had lots of snuggles. Yeah. Oh, and good. she's really like smiling. It's so nice. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> this is so honestly these even these sounds are just like she's just happy isn't she looking so this, this is the outfit who am i i don't know <laughs> but it, it's black and, it's, and it goes with this and it goes with the thing yeah. and then i rio's gonna be in this little pumpkin yeah i've shown him already oh you have and she's in a little witch outfit. She hasn't like really been a relaxed baby, so to see her relaxed and happy is just, oh, makes me so happy. <laughs> the rebel cries, this is the way to keep her going. Right until the second you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my little Halloween dog. <laughs> it's so raining. Good girl, darling. Well, I know they're off to something really fun and it would be fun to go with them. I secretly really love this time um, that I'm gonna get for the next four or five hours. One, I'm gonna have a nice shower right now and then have time to edit the video. I know that's like part of what we do, but I'm just having no distractions. I really like it. So that's why I choose not to go to the Halloween disco. I'm sure it's fun, but having time for myself is even more fun. <laughs> and I'm hoping maybe I can do a workout. I've got a lot to achieve in the next four or five hours. I better get going. the biggest rave, the most, honestly, I was stimulation overload. Every <laughs> single sense was like overloaded. Uh, it was fantastic. How did she do? She slept? She slept the whole time. And I have to say, cause I've been, I just watched this vlog back and we talk a lot about her being unsettled, but since you've had that breast milk, yeah. come back with the dairy free breast milk, yeah. it has been like, Difference, yeah. Like, she's pooed more. Like she smiled. She's had oh conversations. God. I'm like, it's. Oh my god! I'm literally nearly crying. I know. Her. I think when you can see progress, it makes you feel really happy because she's been not happy when she's but happy. There was moments of happiness, but there's yeah. also moments of a lot of moments of sadness of for her and up, upset. Yeah. But then, so when we when we tried the new breast milk and she was on that. Um, there was moments of happiness and I was like, oh my god, the, the moments of happiness are extended. Yeah, they are extended. And it's been two full days of happiness. Yeah. Um, and just like a normal baby that's not really... But there you are, up to date in our lives. So, yes. Please like and subscribe to our channel next week. Well, I suppose we've got to start preparing for Rio's birthday. birthday. I can't wait Can to you show you all the Rio's birthday. I cannot wait. Honestly, so, so excited. We've got a two-year-old. Our son is two. We'll see you next week. We love you. Bye.